Olá, bom dia e bem-vindo ao nosso canal, Quinta Fonte da Pipa. Hello, good morning and welcome back to our channel, Quinta Fonte da Pipa. So this week we managed to capture a live goat birth. So we managed to film the little baby girl being born. So if any of you are just a little bit squeamish, there will be a warning card and a time to skip to on the video. So I hope you enjoy. I think this one is possibly a little bit stuck, so when she pushes, Molly's going to have to pull. Good girl, good girl. Now. Well done, Molly. Oh. Okay, give it a little rub of the towel, sweetheart. And cover its nose. I have done. Now move back to Mum to play. muffin
So mummy's just cleaning up this little one and then we'll check to make sure that it feeds and then we'll leave her just to have some bonding time and I do believe it is a little girl so if anybody out there would like to sponsor her that would be great you'll find it down in the description below I would just like to give you guys a little update because unfortunately we didn't get any footage of this little lady having a drink but it is about two days later now and she yeah. is extremely strong and as you can tell Eddie also likes her and she's very very strong and she's trying to climb which is a really good thing which is a good indication that she's a really strong baby and this is concerned, Mum. Hello. Yes. Yeah. This is your baby. Do you mind me showing everyone? She's beautiful. So as it is getting super, super hot here so early in the morning, we are currently waking up 5.30, 6am to make sure the goats are out early enough yeah. so it isn't too hot. And then we put them back in the off, the hotter part of the day and let them out back in the evening around five, six o'clock so they're getting enough to eat and staying cool. Because we don't want the babies to overheat whilst they're out in the field. <laughs> We have come up to the goats early this morning to let them out before it starts to get hot here. And I think someone might be going into labor. And with it being so hot, they've all come back for a drink. just come up to the goats to do my morning check once they come in one of the hotter parts of the afternoon. So I've given them their water and as I mentioned this morning, Norma I believe was in labour and I've come up to see that she's given birth to a beautiful, beautiful coloured baby. Well done, Norma. It's her last baby. I had to help assist in the birth. And this is one of the first babies that she has had in this colour. Because the first time Norma got pregnant, Norma had four. Little one. Hi. 
cute mom. And now it assumes I met mom. And just a little warning, Norma's rear end is rather graphic right now as she is, hasn't passed her after birth yet, which is something we will need to check and make sure she passes. So little baby has got a little bit lost. And we're just going to go and put her back in the garden with the rest of her family. I think they might still be hungry. After that, I'm going to take the bike out for a proper ride today. I've been out a couple of times on it, but I really want to go and give it a proper hiding. And this has actually been quite a good bike, so I uh, thought I'd take you along with me today. I'm going to try, I don't know if you can see through the the, um, the grapes there and everything, I'm going to try and get to the pretty much to the halfway to the top of the Gardunia. Then I'm going to go off to Lorry Sal de Campo, and I'm going to take you along with me. Stop here. Because that is a Roman font. It's very dry, but it's still got some water in it. That's a Roman font on this here that we're going to cycle up. Up there is a Roman road. 
don't know if you can still see some of it. I should think some of them have been replaced, but generally, these rocks, this is actually a certified Roman road. flat but it's gone down since I pumped it up and that's too flat for me to ride on. I brought a bike pump with me but uh, I've had to cable tie it to the frame and now I don't know if I'll ever get it back on again. We can try. Let's see if we can get this to pump up. I actually got four punctures in it the other day coming up this same track I came up it so quick I went across a ridge and it burst the tyre and I just pumped this up before I left home with the compressor and I could notice it in that distance just let the, the air out and this next bit's going to be tarmac and I got over 70 kilometres an hour out of it down the other day so I don't want a wobbly back end. That's going to be the last thing I need going down a hill at that speed. And I hope you can see what I'm doing here. That's actually not bad. I've managed to take that off with those two and get it back on again. And it's pretty darn good. Yep. Caps back in, tyres pumped up. Gears.
house. Good little bike. It's handled those trails pretty well and they're quite rough. And even though I took the wrong lines, the bike handled all the, uh, the little gullies and the rocks. Those sheep. But I'm still pedaling and I'm overpowering the motor. So it's, uh, it's not a lazy bike ride. So I think this is a very good bike for the money. I've really enjoyed myself on it. I think you've seen I've done 130 kilometers on it. Molly's probably done half of that. And we both really like it. Well done, Ellie Glide. For the money, you can't beat this. Go left here. It's half past seven at night as well and the sun's still pretty darn hot. I don't really want to stop riding yet though. haven't seen last week's video there will be a link up here but we are only 17% away from reaching our goal to supporting our local Sapodosh Freshdish so I'd like to say a huge huge thank you to David, Dirk, Eileen, Ruth and Ava for all of your support 
and we would like to give back to you guys who support us by a little giveaway next week. So don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay tuned for next week's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you back here next week.